How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary and in this video what I want to talk about is just the Halo franchise in general. Nothing specific, no news and info kind of thing, just kind of a trend and things I'm kind of noticing with this, with this game and even the community as well. With a lack of playlist features and game modes that people have been craving for when it comes to Halo 5 and they've been slowly been leaked into the community. I'm really kind of starting to feel that Halo 5 is one gigantic polished beta for Halo 6. So in this video I'm going to dig in, do some analysis, and kind of really show you why I'm feeling this way about Halo 5. Now this video is going to focus mainly on the multiplayer side of things because that's really where I feel like 343 is doing a lot of continual tweaking. But uh, if you want to see my analysis of the Halo 5 story compared to Halo 4 and just the franchise kind of really in general, I'll have a video linked in the description down below giving you my analysis similar to this video of the Halo 5 story. So to understand Halo 5 and its development process, you really have to go back and start back with 343's first original uh, game, which was Halo 4. 343 started working on Halo games actually back way back in 2009 with for Halo 4 and then it took three years and our little baby boy of Halo 4 came out and it was uh, came out with some mixed reviews as you can uh, probably assume but uh, you know here's a picture of like all the games that 343 has released so they've actually when you think about it 343 has been working on Halo for quite some time seven years really. Uh, plus with the roadmap going to Halo 2 and probably even more beyond that, you know, we're going to see a lot more Halo content coming from 343. But I really feel like 343 is just starting to gauge the community now to really understand it and see what the player base really wants for Halo. I'm sure most of us remember what playlists released for Halo 5 when the game first came out. I mean, we had Warzone and Warzone Assault. We had Team Arena, which actually contained Breakout, Slayer, Stronghold, and CTF. Then you had Team Slayer, Free For All, Breakout, SWAT, and your weekend social playlist. And that was it. Uh, you know, a lot of people were just kind of like, that's it, man? Like, that's all we're getting kind of thing? I mean, I can, but then, you know, they did release Big Team Battle a month later. I can understand why doing that, because 343 spent a lot of time and effort developing the Warzone game mode. And since Warzone does kind of compete a little bit in the way with, uh, you know, big team battle fans, they really wanted to kind of get people to play that mode first. They kind of be like, hey, check out this brand new thing we made. Please play it, you know. So I understand that. But I'm also really glad that they implemented big team battle later on. And they implemented a lot of other game modes as well. I mean, like recently we just got Warzone Firefight, which... I was kind of surprised Firefight wasn't in the game in the first place just because it's such a popular playlist ever since it first came out uh, for ODST, which is, I think it's back in 2009, I believe. Then 343 did add Social Slayer, they did add Big Team Battle, Griff Ball, and recently also Infection. Though I feel like Social Slayer and Griff Ball were really added because the community really demanded this content. And I feel like 343 just kind of thinking, well, if the community makes a big enough of a stink about a certain playlist, well, well then we'll add it in. Uh, because I think what 343 is trying to do is play it really safe with their playlist selection because of what happened with Halo 4. Uh, we all know, if for anyone who played Halo 4, that uh, it didn't exactly go over that well with the community in general. It was 343's first uh, major title release. And I can understand them wanting to come out with this brand new vision, new features, and just kind of like, you know, drive the Halo franchise forward. Which I, honestly, I do applaud them for that. Because, you know, you don't want to really be releasing games just because it's a new game, you know. Uh, you want to bring something new to the franchise. You need to bring, you need to justify a reason why you're going to release a new full game for $60. I mean, they couldn't just come back out with Halo Reach, you know, 2.0 and just be like, here's some new maps, some new abilities, some new weapons, but it's pretty much the same game. Or so you could say the same thing about Halo 3, something like that. So they need to justify what people wanted. And let's not forget, back in, way back in 2009, you know what game came out around then? Modern Warfare 2. And that game freaking blew up. Oh my, that was what made Call of Duty what it is right now. And so 343 took notice and went, hmm, a lot of people seem to be liking Modern Warfare 2 and what it does. 
let's try to bring that great stuff that people like about Modern Warfare 2 into Halo 4. Sounds great on paper, right? But then in practice, it didn't exactly work out too well. 343 tried to implement Call of Duty-esque customization, but then tried to maintain the core elements of Halo. And so what really happened there was that, you know, Halo players didn't really like Halo 4's multiplayer because it played like Call of Duty, and Call of Duty players didn't really like Halo 4 because it played like Halo. And so then it kind of met this, like, perfect storm of not really pleasing everybody who want that you're trying to aim for in this game and I'm sure we've all seen this graph of just the Halo 4 population you know just that real steep decline when the game came out uh, just just because it didn't really please both communities that they were trying to reach out to though like I said I really do applaud 343 for trying out new things for this for the for the Halo's franchise I mean Halo 4 they brought in randomized kill streaks perks, loadouts, standardized sprint, and a brand new style of map design. And it just was, I think it might have been so much of a shock to Halo players that it just was just not accepted by players. So that's why I feel like in Halo 5 they kind of tried taking a step back and yet having a step forward at the same time with the release. We obviously we saw it back to smaller arena style maps but then also added in things like sprinting or um, not talking about sprint but ADS Spartan abilities, a rec system and keeping that standardized sprint but kind of tweaking it a little bit as well but bringing it back that standard uh, map design that we've known for Halo for uh, what almost 6, 15 years now and let's not forget for Halo 5 the addition of the Warzone playlist which really was a culmination of uh, player feedback from Halo 4 because uh, you know we all remember people saying like we don't like this uneven starts kind of thing but you know 343 wanted to implement uh, these kind of additions like loadouts and uh, perks and really kind of kill streaks really uh, but uh, still trying to please the community and they kind of found that they can kind of work that way stuff into the Warzone playlist because they noticed that with Halo 4 uh, that game really actually played rather well for big team battle it was actually the most popular playlist in Halo 4 so 343 saw that and they're like hmm all right let's just go crazier on big team battle let's make give them the biggest bestest big team battle that they have ever seen and they did that with the skip for Halo 5. And I completely applaud 343 for taking note of what the community wants in their Halo game while also trying to you know push the vision forward of what they want to do with Halo. And what was the other big game mode that they, that 343 pushed for Halo 5? It was Arena, Team Arena, which was like more competitive side of Halo 5. And you know that was the second most popular playlist in Halo 4. Uh, I know this because I actually watched a um, interview, uh, not an interview, but a presentation by I believe his name was Kevin Franklin from 343. He was at 343 at the time. Uh, I made a video about it as well. Uh, you can check that video in the description as well. Just seeing the, the user research that 343 did to kind of customize Halo 5 to the, please the player base a little bit better. So now with that long introduction we can't get to what else about Halo 5 is what I'm trying to say so uh, 343 really understood that players wanted big team battle and they wanted like a competitive slayer they got that the casual and the competitive side of the game but but that's really kind of the same two sides of the same coin of just you know first person shooter um, but like you know some people like to play it for fun one side and the other side of the coin people like to play it really competitively but then 343 saw all these other game modes and communities within Halo, and now they're kind of like, uh, well, how, which ones do we really spend our time and effort on to really make sure we please as many people as possible for this game and this franchise as a whole? Because no other game in the gaming community as a whole, I mean like games in general, I feel has a wider player base than Halo. I mean, people, you have people that like to play just the campaign. You have people that like to play custom games. And then within those custom games, have their own sub-communities as well. You have people that like to make machinimas and make videos. That's why you want to add theater mode into the game as well. You have your Griffball fans. You have your Infection fans. 
If you're Team Doubles fans, you're Team Snipers fans, I mean, you, the list goes on. And 343 wants to deliver to the public what they want without dividing out the player base too much and having the same issue that happened with Halo 4, where the player base is stretched so thin that if you try to play a le le least popular playlist, your connections or one are going to get really terrible because it's going to have to connect with people that are further away from you which causes lag and ruins the overall general experience of playing your game, longer matchmaking times as well, and just an overall less fun experience. Let's also not forget that Halo doesn't really have that gigantic of a player base. Even with the free weekend that came out recently for Halo 5, it only reached its way up to number 6 in the most popular games on the Xbox Live behind games like Minecraft, Call of Duty, and NBA 2K16 I believe is what they're on right now, and a few others as well. So the Halo player base is never really gonna see the gigantic player base it once did back for like say Halo 3, Halo 2, because back then Halo was the number one played game on Xbox, but much like I mentioned in the previous commentary that the competition nowadays is just so much harder that, you know, people only have so much time to play other games or play the games that they want. That's the only probably, Halo 5 is probably one of those games that just gets pushed aside because you're like, well, I want to play my basketball games. I want to play Call of Duty. I want to play Minecraft. And, you know, I want to play Halo. I just don't have the time. Back then, back in Halo 3, you can make all the playlists you want because they were the most popular game really on consoles or at least the shooter genre that Bungie at the time could afford to make a ton of different playlists because there was going to be enough people there to play them. The lack of playlist support could also be a part of just 343's overall plan that they had for Halo 5 with the uh, quote unquote free content updates that we were receiving monthly. Uh, like we received one of the most unpopular game modes in Halo franchise history, Infection, just back in May. But I really feel like that was really just done by design to kind of keep the player base coming back for just something new to always kind of come in and check out for Halo. Uh, just because especially right around like the summertime, or at least for me especially, that I find that like you know, a game's popularity, much like a Halo or like a Battlefield or Call of Duty, you know, the initial spike of when the game releases is when the population is at its highest and most hype about the game. But, you know, there's going to be that gradual decline of pe less and less people playing it. But if you have monthly updates, it generally kind of gets some more hype up for the game to bring people back into it. And what's one game mode to really get people back into the game after not playing for a while? Infection. So the withholding of certain playlists certainly plays into 343's plan, but you know they are certainly taking note of what the community is saying about what they want for their Halo game. And I feel like once Halo 6 comes around here, it's really going to be made tailored really to the Halo community. So what is one thing we the players can do to help make Halo better? And that is just... It's just being vocal. Letting 343 know what the players want for their game. They are listening, they are responding, and they are acting. Though it might not be as fast as you want it, but hey man, Halo's only been out for nine months now. So it's when you think about it, it's still a rather new game. And we're probably not going to get another Halo game, at least until 2017, maybe even 18. As long as the community as a whole is being vocal about what they want for Halo, 343 will most li will listen and most likely add it to the game. Not one person can make a difference really in the, uh, this video. Yeah, probably not going to get much notification from 343. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But the thing is, is enough people as a, as a whole rise up and then talk about what they want for Halo. 343 will listen and make the game that we want. But then on the other hand, 343 does need to be a little more open about why certain things are happening with Halo. Um, you know, one thing is that you know, they're not releasing the information about the player base. I think mainly because of the, um, really the embarrassment that 343 got from you know, people showing the population of Halo 4. How quick that decline was and how low the player base was. If 343 was really more straight up and honest saying, hey, we only have so many players to play a playlist. We need a certain amount to make sure to maintain the certain uh, user experience that we want for our game in a certain playlist. Then, 
you know, you know, reasonable people will make sense of that information saying like, oh yeah, well we need at least like, you know, 1,000, 2,000 players in the playlist to really maintain that uh, vision of user experience that they have in their mind when it comes to playing Halo online. And if they give a reason saying like, you know, free for all is the least played playlist and, you know, it really hovers around a thousand right there. Then maybe players might, you know, understand like, okay, yeah, maybe Team Sniper is a little bit too niche of a playlist to add to the overall uh, selection for Halo 5. I'm just using that as an example of uh, Team Sniper, as I'm sure a lot of people like playing it, but you know what I mean. Of course, if 343 disclosed that kind of information, it makes them look weak because then they're like, well, we don't really know what you guys want when it comes to Halo because we have so many people saying they want so many things, but then we implement them and then you guys don't play them. So what should we do? And of course, 343 doesn't want to show that to the community because it makes them look weak. It makes the, you know, the, makes the future of Halo look kind of shaky, uncertain, which, you know, they don't want to make their player base feel that, you know, we don't, you know, that, Halo 5 is kind of like in this like limbo state of being, or Halo franchise is in this limbo state of being like, ah, oh, it could go really anywhere. Like, we, they, 343 wants to show that they know what they want to do with Halo. We have a strong vision that we want to move forward with, and this is what we're going to do, but yet we still want to make you, the player base, happy as well. So there has to be that happy little medium there of, uh, you know, being open enough to the player base so we can understand what's going on with the game, but then, you know, they also want to you know put on this front of hey we are strong we know what we're doing with halo trust in us trust in the company trust in the brand and you know keep them spending your money pretty much and the halo community and 343 knows how important trust is with uh the halo franchise just because we've seen a, you know a certain hit to sales when it came to halo 5 big well i'm sure it's that the release of mcc really did hurt that trust of, you know, when you buy a game from this company, you expect it to be a high quality, you know, functioning product, which is exactly what, you know, uh, the MCC was not. Overall, though, I am very happy with the direction that Halo 5 is going right now and just the Halo franchise in general. I personally feel that Halo 5 is the best multiplayer since Halo 3. And I think I can easily say that. I might even say I like it more than Halo 2. <gasps> I know, but it's, that's, that's how much I enjoy this game, and I'm really happy with the, where this game is going, and I'm really looking forward to Halo 6 and see what comes out for us players. So, anyways guys, it's a long video, I know, but hey, talking about the Halo franchise, it's a passion of mine, and it's going to be a long video. <laughs> So if you've made this far into the video, gosh, I really appreciate it. You know, it's a long one, uh, but you know I have a lot to say. Uh, if you listen this far, you know I would really appreciate a like button tap just because uh, I put a lot of time and effort into this video and I really wanted to make sure I released what the best content I could for what I was thinking about when it comes to Halo 5. You know, leave a comment down below what you guys feel about the state of the Halo franchise, especially the multiplayer side of things. Do you feel like it's strong? Do you feel like it's going in a direction you don't like? You know, let me know in the comments down below. I do read all of them and try to reply to most of them as well. Hey, and if you're new to the channel, tap the subscribe button because I'm always uploading awesome Halo content. But anyways guys, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.